afternoon and welcome to Audio 2 Live. Today is Friday, August 24th, 2018, and we're very excited to have in the studio with us today, Long Neck. Take it away. Take it away whenever you're ready. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> the big beam. All the other things that people who live in Chicago love to hear their city calls. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cities love being patronized. I yeah. <laughs> Build my own fire. 
drinking alone, such a bore. We've heard it all before. Leave the campsite. supporting Will This Do, a new record that's out on Tiny Engines. Be sure to pick that up, and you guys can roll on that next one whenever you're ready. Perfect. Is everyone all, how's everyone doing? Y'all good? Doing good. Very you're doing pretty good. Oh, good. Day 26 of 34. <sighs> <laughs> uh, we've also come to van madness and brain rot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you were like, oh, the cold's gonna be the worst thing that happens. Like everyone got a cold, like the first week, <laughs> and now it's just like, oh no, my brain has a cold, which it will never recover. You made it through. You're here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're really stoked. Yes. Yeah. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you guys so much for being here. I know it's been uh, quite a journey so far, so I appreciate you stopping in and taking the time to do this. Thank you so much mm, for having us. Nice I'm actually Anytime. gonna, I broke a string. I'm gonna run out and grab my other guitar Yeah, take real your quick. time, take your time. Y'all have fun. Oh, yeah, nice, we got, nice, I've got nice. some questions here anyway. We can, we can keep, I can keep everyone up pretty occupied, I believe. The so boss lady is away, so the boys songs. will play. <laughs> there you okay, go. Okay. It's gonna get wild now. Get the um, fellas here. <laughs> 
Well, at least you're a little bit closer to New Jersey than you were a few days ago, oh, correct? Yeah. yeah, you're getting to back towards home. Um, I noticed there's like a lot of camaraderie as far as like the East Coast goes right now with like Philly and Jersey and New York and a lot of the DIY scene seems to be like kind of booming. Mm -hmm. And I want to know like, what are your thoughts on that? And why do you think that is so strong out that way? Well, I mean, one, like Philly is cheap as hell to live in. So yeah. artists can just like, you know, we have friends who live there who like have a house to themselves that they pay less than I pay in New York City for, you know, my single teeny tiny room. Oh, so it's wild. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's that I think that's a big yeah. part of it. Uh, mm -hmm. But, you know, also there's like I think there's a really long tradition of like New Jersey, like punk and indie rock music that mm -hmm. uh, we I think we think people don't give enough credit. I don't know if that's oh, true for sure. Yeah, I think Jersey's it's kind of as like you were saying earlier, like Chicago stigmatized like certain cities like get like a bad rap or certain states get a bad rap. And oh, I think totally. New Jersey kind of Jersey gets the worst. Rap. It yeah. does. It does yeah. for multiple reasons, yeah. like on, on many levels. <laughs> And we really also double down on like being from New Jersey. Yeah. Like, like, yeah. like when we're out in like, we, I think like last tour we played mm -hmm. uh, somewhere in Iowa, Cedar Rapids, Iowa, and, and mm -hmm. it's like Long Neck from New York. And we're like, hey man, we're not from New York. Like, <laughs> yeah. like we were like, hey, can you change that? Yeah. And a lot of us, you know, most I'm, of our shows are in New York, and, mm -hmm. and you know, some of the bands sold out and moved to New York. <laughs> and by sold out, I mean could afford to. And like, yeah, yeah. They're but, doing um, well for themselves. Yeah, they yeah. are doing it. fine. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, I'll say this too. Uh, we all thought that all of us were from New Jersey, like born and raised. Yeah. We found out like a month ago, three years into being in this band, uh, that uh, Kevin, our guitarist, <laughs> is from Manhattan, and he just oh. never really mentioned it. Oh. Yeah, he just kind of like, he snuck in. Like, um, you know, they were like, yeah, New Jersey, and I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, Kevin. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. We get, Awkward. We, this is yeah. your last show with us. I'm yeah. so sorry. Yeah, that's what I was afraid <laughs> yeah, of. Yeah. At least they didn't kick you out, though. That's nice of them. They kept <laughs> you in. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Yeah, that's awesome. And I noticed, like, you know, the camaraderie, like I was saying, between all those cities and, like, the DIY scene. I noticed you mentioned something on the record, too, like, Pedal Boys you gave credit to? What, oh, is, the, what is that it's about? It's a dumb bit. Yeah, no. <laughs> is it? Okay, yeah. okay. Me and, me and uh, the producer, uh, this guy Tom Bojork, who's a lovely mm -hmm. man, uh, that we were working with at the time, uh, we were just fiddling with, like, all the knobs and the pedals for, like, a solo that Lily was playing. Oh, and okay, I was like, I see. we have to be credited on, on this record. I'm not going to work <laughs> for no... No money and <laughs> no credit? No, thank you. No I'm not way. Do that. Yeah. I think uh, everyone thought I was kidding uh, yeah, when awesome. I said I'd do it, and then I did I it. Definitely oh, yeah, thought that's were, I, yeah, I thought you were kidding. Yeah, 100%. I never joke. I'm very serious. That's, that's so funny. Cool. Cool. Yeah. It's that we do not back down from a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? In, in, like, yeah. in, like, sometimes to our detriment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's worth it sometimes, right? It has gotten us. Yeah. Gotten you pretty in some deep stuff. That's good, though. But for some reason, I thought it was, like, like two guys who just like had all these pedals and was like feeding them to you and was like hey play through this do this so i was like what in the world are they credited for i love to know that it's just one solo that you yeah, do yeah, yeah. i great. mean tom had a bunch of pedals yeah i mean tom yeah. should have gotten the credit i kind of snuck in there it's like a real lennon and mccartney thing between us mccartney <laughs> mccarthy <laughs> lennon and joseph mccarthy yeah Vladimir lennon and joseph mccarthy yes. yeah. that's who i was yeah, talking yeah, yeah. about yeah. yeah perfect well it sounds great let's run to that next one whenever you're ready Oh, she sings. Yeah, I'm ready. They line their windows with salt.
Tree Lover with Long Neck. We love it. It's sounding wonderful in here, by the way. It's sounding really good. All right. This is a song for anyone who needs to uh, cuss to the high heavens. Yeah, if you're like at work right now, it's like mm -hmm. 3.30 where most of the people who know us are at, and it's a Friday. You're just really mad at your boss right now. You just want to like, you just want to take that guy and you just want to choke him kind of. You know, you just want to kind of grab his shoulders. You just kind of... Oh, I get so mad at him. Ooh, I wanna, oh, oh, no. I wanna hurt him right now. Yeah, then this is the time when you can just start yelling fuck. And yeah. if your boss comes over, uh, just say, I'm, just say I'm, watching a, I'm watching a fun song. It's cool. It's and then if he doesn't <laughs> relent, you just choke him. You choke yeah, him real choke good. Oh, don't. Oh, no. no don't no, no, choke no. him, buddy. That's not cool. No, no, no. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. We're good. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> They're all great, but that one was really great too. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Um, you were dipping out and changing your guitar earlier, so you didn't get to talk much. And I have a question directly for you. You're a biologist. Yeah. How does that juggle with like being in a DIY band? And do you enjoy doing that and taking time off? Is that possible? How is that working out? Um, well, <laughs> it's it's 
It's interesting because like I love both. I can't yeah. really like choose one or over the other. Mm-hmm. Um, even though like I music is not my like chosen career path for yeah. the rest of my life, even though it's something that I enjoy doing and love doing and I'm passionate about. And she's but, really good at it too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, for wow, sure. Thanks. <laughs> wow. Oh boy. Um but uh science is is also just like really a part of me and um I the thing about like touring and being more serious about touring now is that like I can't really do as much like field work as I want to. Yeah. Um, but when I'm home, I'm like volunteering in a lab at the Museum of Natural History doing oh, some so cool awesome. research. And um, like that brings me a lot of joy too. That's awesome. So it's almost like freelance in a way then, right? Where you can like come and go kind of as you please a little bit, right? It's not like a f- nine to five. You got to be at like a certain lab at a certain time. Yeah. So that's awesome. Yeah. No, this gig is nice because I just like let my PI know mm-hmm. when I'll be in. Um, last summer, I was a. Uh, educator at a zoo um oh, so really that cool. was like a little more rigid and yeah, yeah. couldn't really tour seems like it'd be fun though oh my god it was the yeah. best that's really cool it was so cool and lily now also, you study bats oh sorry yeah. go ahead. Oh, i was just gonna add lily also definitely finds ways to uh do biology while she's on the road most of which is <laughs> bird sighting while she is driving the van I've, oh that's, that's I, pretty it's dangerous on it's the actual street she just goes, oh, look, it's a, it's a turkey vulture. And we're like, Lily, there's cars in front of us. <laughs> if you're you're going 75. Van, you're like, swerve really hard. <laughs> yeah. Because, uh... I have not crashed yet. Oh, yeah, um, then you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. And I have seen some pretty amazing birds yeah. that y'all refuse to look at. Yeah. Um, I don't think we also can't just... see them yeah. straight up. Like, like, you have bird vision. You've got crazy <laughs> eyes. And I don't yeah, know like, like we all have glasses. You don't, and you can make out which kind of egret it is from, like, from miles away. Distance. Yeah. <laughs> That's wild. It's bananas. Well, yeah. I guess if you study it, then, you know, you have an uh, upper hand. Yeah. Right. Birds are... wing. You have oh. a wing. Oh. Boo. 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 <laughs> Boo. Um, so right now, it's bats, though. Is that the thing? Like, that's yeah. what you're, you're studying in particular? And how does that go? You just, like, just dissecting, uh, going out in the field? Like, how is, like, what's the day-to-day when you walk in there or when you, like... So uh, the work that I'm doing now, um, I'm taking, like, tissue samples from bats that my PI collected out in the field and um, I'm running like different genetic tests on them to see what kind of like microflora live in there um, mm. which is to say what kind of uh, in, what kind of bacteria yeah. like in, intestinal bacteria live in them um, but That's I awesome. worked like two summers ago um, with another grad student um, who was doing like acoustic monitoring so like trying to see like which species of bats were in which like environments and I was also going out and doing mist netting so like go, staying out till all hours of the night like catching bats and that's so wild it was oh man best summer yeah I can only imagine getting paid for doing that stuff it sounds I would just want to do it just to check it out and see what they're all about let alone like get money for it that sounds yeah, wonderful it's, <laughs> it's the best and yeah. hey science and music they are uh, pretty much one in the same in terms of like creativity so yeah. like well, it seems like, you know, even having a job like that and you guys are all, you know, adulting in a way, having that kind of thing happening and also being as prolific as you guys are, it's pretty amazing. Like I looked, there's like 11 releases. I know some of them are singles and EPs, but 11 releases since 2014. And I know some of it was solo stuff too, but I mean, that is crazy. That's like a lot for, I mean, for a DIY band yeah. to put out that many records in four years. That's like awesome. So how do you keep that up? Like, do you, is it like something you're always kind of doing on the side just continuously writing or yeah yeah yeah. um like one of one of the songs that we're gonna play uh in the next set uh, mine yours i wrote that in like my field house two years ago okay like um on like one of my days off yeah Uh, like wrote it in like the room i had then did vocals in like my car in a parking lot because (laughs) there was no privacy in the field house yeah yeah um but yeah no i'm if I'm not doing one. I'm trying to do the other as um, awesome. best as I can. Yeah. Keep up to date with the world of bats. Yeah, that's cool that you've been able to juggle both at the same time. And it's awesome. And I know, like, I read at least that the last record of this one that you put out, there was some struggle at certain times of your life that, like, 
during the making of this record that you had to go through that kind of helped push this. And I was wondering how important is it that you kind of either released the struggle within the music when you're writing this, like your personal stuff, or if it's important to keep reliving it and reminding yourself like to move on from it, or how do you view that as far as like the writing process and now playing these songs live? It's kind of a mixture of both. Yeah. So um, like when I wrote the album, the the idea behind it was like, man, I like cannot keep this like bottled up. I'm miserable. I need yeah. to like just put this out on paper so it's not just like inside my body. Yeah. Um, and like I started Long Neck too as like a way to like reach out to friends and like whoever would listen to let them know that like I was going through stuff because mm -hmm. I was I was not very great at talking to people. Yeah. Um, and uh, now it's like it's I'm better at talking to people I like to think um, yeah, <laughs> I'm sure. getting there seems like it <laughs> yeah I'm trying uh, so hard and um, but uh, it's also like for me it's kind of a testament to like this is the time that I was like the lowest I've ever been and I survived it by some magical spell of yeah <laughs> different things um, so it is kind of yeah like a testament to like Oh, you don't have to relive it, but like you went through it and you came out on the other end exactly. and you were like stronger because of it. Awesome. Well, I'm glad you went through it and made it out the other side. And I'm also glad you wrote a great record. So Thank we'd like you. to hear some more songs. We can do that. Or at least I'm going to do that. <laughs> Don't tell me you love me Not 
say this simply I want to make Again, so much for coming in. We really appreciate it. Thank you for taking the time to do this. Thanks yeah, so much yeah, for having us. No, for sure. Their new record, uh, this will this do, is out now via Tiny Engine. So make sure you get that wherever you get your records. Also, they're playing tonight at Sub T downstairs. If you're in Chicago, make sure you get your butts there. Um, and I want to thank the lighting and camera crew, the audio engineers, everyone here at Audio Tree who helps make this happen. We really appreciate them very much. And if you want to help support us and the band, you can do so by downloading the session when it comes out in a few weeks. Until then, we'll see everyone next time. Thank you. Yay. All right, so you guys want to do it for real now? <laughs>